Hey guys and welcome to the Bind View. Hopefully you guys are all doing well. In this particular video, we're going to be talking about Brazo, uh, or you better, or you might know him as um, Hansan Slamovic. That is obviously his name. Uh, obviously he played for us, and now he's obviously on the board. And obviously he's the guy that normally does the transfers, gets the players in, so on and so forth. Now he's um, spoke, um, not spoke out, but he's done an interview. He does, he does this every couple of weeks. Um, or so uh, with Sky 90 and um, yeah basically we're just going to get straight into this one sorry if you could hear um, noise in the background uh, the little one is literally right above me so I do apologize uh, we are actually in Germany now we're in Munich and um, yeah man uh, it's been brilliant absolutely fantastic so far but if you're going to enjoy the video please do smash the thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below and um, if you're new and um, there's gonna be various videos coming to you as well I'm gonna go record some videos hopefully fingers crossed if I'm not too much of a chicken um, here in Munich uh, and post them but they'll be they'll come out when I'm at home because I need to edit them on my computer and I don't have it with me but uh, also the windows open so if you can hear traffic I apologize right now I've got all that out, out of the way let's get into this one so uh first things first obviously he uh was uh, he was asked about his future at Bayern uh and he replied to that saying I'm very grateful to be at FC Bayern I've done everything for the club as a player and in uh, the past few years I'm happy with uh, the way we've strengthened the team this summer uh, regarding everything else I'm very re relaxed basically he's not nervous that he might lose his job or this or that uh, and realistically um uh, yeah Lewandowski left but Mane come in Nabri on a new deal they're lit Graven Birch Missouri you know what I mean like you can't surely you can't sack him on that um so yeah that's the first thing that he said then uh, on uh, Conrad Lehmer he says I don't want to uh, talk about players under contract at other uh, other clubs so there's nothing more to say about that today um you know the fact that he he put in there so there's nothing more to say about that today is basically meaning that we were in for it we are looking at him but right now he's at he's under contract with leipzig we're not going to sign him right now we probably will go and get him on a free so yeah there's that one um and then on um Dilit, he said uh we explained everything to him and talked about the project and before we even discussed a single number uh, he said he uh, just wanted to join us. Uh, all the new signings could have earned more money, uh, earned more money, um, at, uh, basically earned more money at other clubs. Um, but they decided to join us. Um, and then uh, it says here um, he was asked a question saying, uh, "Wouldn't it have been easier to pay uh, Nicolas Sula two to three million um, more?" Um, instead of spending over 60 million on uh, Matthias De Litt, and he responded to that saying uh, I can only say that Matthias was um, our absolute dream target actually for years I, I think Bayern uh, was also his dream club for years he fits us like a glove which I can't disagree with um i can't agree with any more to be perfectly honest with you you know look at nicolas sula uh, i i really really did like him and i am a bit annoyed that we didn't keep him but you know at the end of the day this is football this is the world the world's mad um and we can't really complain because we've got you know one of the best young center backs in the world signed to our club and he didn't care um, about this or that he wanted to join us so i'm absolutely buzzing um, and i still am um to be perfectly honest with you um, and then he was asked about um, transfer decisions and he, he responded to that saying Nagusman always sits at the table uh, he says what he likes and what he doesn't like uh, that's how we decide either we convince him or he convinces us That's uh, that works quite well he was always present during the talks with the players um, that's why it's his team but we do that for the club uh, and also for the fans um, this is teamwork we have to work together and we we talk um, we con con congregate I believe is what it says wow and that's important to me um, each of us can also address what they don't like uh, and nobody is uh, offended by that so basically saying that they can voice their opinions and you know they then you know these are grown ass men and they they know that it's an opinion you know um and then he said he um 
he's way ahead of his age talking about Nagelsmann again he's way ahead of his age he has uh, clear ideas in his mind which is most in, which is the most important thing for us we talked a lot about last season systems training ideas uh, uh, Julian Nagelsmann accepts uh, uh, other options and also speaks out if something bothers him which again is what we want to hear we don't want to you know I know it's Braz of saying it I know it's the one of the higher ups blah 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 but at the end of the day you know this is what we want to hear we want to hear that our manager you know if he's got a problem he's not going to be a pussy about it and he will you know say something you know what I mean um, and then he also says um, about um, Julian Nagelsmann, he says, he often comes into my office, I make him I make him an espresso <laughs> and then we talk. I really enjoy working with him, um, which is again, brilliant. You know, it seems like they are very, very close, which again, is what we want to hear. You know what I mean? Um, you know, look at these other clubs, Man United being one of them, you know, various other clubs, you know, Jose Mourinho has lost a lot of the boards over his career. You know what I mean? Uh, and, you know, it's perfect to see the manager and the board together collectively for this FC Bayern. So, 100%. Um, and then he also says, um, asked about the squad. He said, in my opinion, we aren't really fit yet. That will come through games um, and training over the next few weeks. Uh, there will always uh, uh, there will be weeks to come uh, that will uh, be very exhausting, and we want to be uh, at 100% by then. Um, on, and then um, he was asked on whether Bayern are breaking the tradition of having a, a classic striker, the classic number nine, you know what I mean? Um, and he says it's a, it's a question uh, of the market uh, when there are, are no classic strikers that is affordable and you have, uh, have to, um, the chance to sign um, someone like Sadio Mane it's worth uh, rethinking our plans which again I do agree with uh, he says the way things have gone uh, was very good for us we uh, when we have a game now and the coach sees that um, the three players up front aren't working he can substitute three quality good forwards um, equally good forwards which yes I agree with and then um, he was asked um, um, on um, Bayern's attack uh, without Lewandowski, he says we have seven or eight forwards for three or four positions up front. That's no more hide and behind Lewandowski. Now they can take responsibility, score goals, and show us them, show up, show us themselves more. Uh, the idea was to create competition, um, and then on Mane, um, he said. Uh, of course, we're happy uh, we got him. I think all Bayern fans were happy. Yep. Um, from the moment I realised we could bring him in, I thought it would be a, a great thing for this club. Uh, I think he's the right player who can offer fans attractive football. Uh, Sadio is a great guy, very down to earth uh, and a hard worker with great footballing qualities. Um, and then... Uh, he was asked, uh, are Leipzig uh, title contend cont uh, a candidate for the title? He said, they're all in the mix. Uh, we'll do everything we can to become champions again. But Leipzig have a good attack and a good squad. They um, certainly have a say in the title race. Uh, and then a couple more things. Um, he was asked on uh, Werner's return to Leipzig. He says he has um, his strengths. He need uh, he needs space and has uh, good finishing. The question is how Leipzig want to play. Uh, we worked in the system um, they they played before. Um, that wasn't the case for, for him with Chelsea, which I agree with. Uh, and then he said it's uh, it would also be important for a German national. Um, that um, national team that he plays uh, and plays well with the competition with Nkunku, Silva and Ormo. Um, the question remains whether uh, that can work but Leipzig certainly has a plan um, and then a couple more things. He was asked, did you think once about uh, Robert Lewandowski drawing Friday's game against Frank Frankfurt and he replied with a swift answer of no. 
Um, and then the last thing, um, Hasan Slamahmovic on um, Leroy Sane to Manchester United and the rumours. He said there's no truth in it. Leroy is an important player for us. So there's nothing to say about that at all. So he just totally, totally, totally shut that one down. So yeah, that's going to be it for the video though. My voice is going. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for the video. If you guys have enjoyed, smash the thumbs up button. Hit the big red subscribe button down below. Thank you for the constant support. Um, you know, I am on my holidays with my family, but at the same at the same time, we keep grinding here. Absolutely, keep grinding. So yeah, smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for the constant support. And until then, Mia Samia, peace out, guys.